I recently came across an interesting program to drill Hebrew vocabulary. Uh, the program is called Daba, and uh, it was released in 1986 by uh, Daniel Kreider. So the uh, program is written in BASIC, and if I run the program here, It takes a little way to start because it's uh, it's relatively big, but um, but it's a really good program. It sort of emulates a flashcard uh, style system, so it displays words in Hebrew, and then you have to provide the English translation. Uh, one problem, of course, with the CPM, at least as far as creating this program so that it's portable, is that most terminals don't support a Hebrew character set, and therefore it represents the Hebrew characters using ASCII art, which is a nice little way of uh, overcoming that. Uh, it says in the documentation uh, that uh, Daniel supplies with the program that he was studying at uh, Southwestern Baptist Seminary at the time. Uh, he also mentions that this program should work on MS-DOS and TRS-DOS TRS systems uh, without too many changes. So it randomizes the vocabulary that it drills each time. Or at least it can do. So I'll put in a number there, 100. And then you can see near the top we've got a, uh, currently 130 vocabulary words available on file. So we'll go through and have a look at some of them. So um, we can change the words that are in the uh, in the vocabulary or correct them. You can also print them to, uh, to printer, which would be quite nice to have a list of them. But as the words got uh, as the number of words in the vocabulary got bigger, of course, that would take up a lot of paper. Still, it's nice to have the option. So I'm going to review the last uh, the last five words. I'm going to put my caps lock on because um, I need caps lock on to work properly. And there we are. We have a word. So my um, my Hebrew is a bit is a bit is not very good. <laughs> I think that means that you killed. Okay, so there we are. We'll go through again, and then it'll tell me the same word again and again to try and get it into my into my mind, into my memory, and then it'll come up with uh, another word. Uh, now, one thing you'll notice at the end of that word, it looks like that character at the end there is. Um, yeah, is the character for uh, for a Samech, but um, but it's actually the character for Mem Sofit. Uh, the character for Samech is more rounded; it looks more like an O with a with a line off of it. But um, but it is consistent throughout. So once you get the, you get used to it, then uh, it's not a problem. Oh yes. We'll go through a few of these to have a look. And you can see the um, the vowel markings underneath, which is quite handy. Um, all right, oh, I'm lost on this one. Yeah. In any case, you get the idea. So it goes through, and then it corrects you when you get it wrong, and then it reinforces it until you. Uh, become a bit more accustomed to getting it right. So it uses a type of um, sort of spaced repetition or, uh, or something like that at least. And, um, and that's really all I have to show for, uh, for this program. But I thought it was nice just to show uh, Hebrew being used on CPM because it's not something you see very often. Uh, I've often wondered how uh, or whether there were CPM systems that supported Hebrew um, more fully because there were certainly uh, Hebrew support and Arabic support for MS-DOS systems, so they managed to overcome it. Um, but I've not seen anything else for Hebrew. So uh, if you do know of anything, then do let me know in the comments below. Um, but other than that, I'll come out of the program. And, um, and there are the files. So it's uh, basic files. And there's also some other programs that I've been playing with there, some German, Latin and French. Uh, language learning programs, which I may show in the future. Uh, but for the time being, um, 
thanks for having a look at this video. Uh, do subscribe if you're interested in seeing other videos on CPM or uh, other vintage computers. I've been doing a few on the uh, VIC-20 recently. And I uh, wish you well.